Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scary Tool here bringing you another Minecraft Forward 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the KV-1 model 1939. The Hilmant Voro Shilov KV tanks, a series of Soviet heavy tanks named after the Soviet commissar and politician Kilimant uh, Voroshilov operated with the Red Army during World War II. The KV tanks were known for their heavy armor protection during the early stages of the war, especially during the first year of the German invasion of the Soviet Union. In certain situations, even a single KV-1 or KV-2 supported by infantry could halt large German formations. The German Wehrmacht at the time rarely deployed its tanks against KVs as their own armament was too poor to deal with the uh, Russian Colossus, which they nicknamed the KV tanks. The KV tanks were practically immune to the 37 7 centimeter KWK 36 and howitzer like short build 7.5 centimeter KWK 37 uh, guns mounted respectively on early Panzer 3 and Panzer 4 tanks fueled by the invading German forces. Until the Germans deployed the more effective guns, the KV 1 ones are vulnerable to almost any German weapon except for the 8.8 centimeter flat gun. Prior to the start of Operation Barbarossa in June of 1941, around about 500 of the over 22,000 tanks then in the Soviet service were of the KV-1 type. As the war progressed, it became evident that there was little sense in producing the expensive KV tanks as the T-34 medium tank performed better uh, in all practical respects. In fact, the only advantage the KV had over the, the T-34-76 was its larger and roomier three-man turret. Later in the war, the KV series became a base for development of the IS uh, series of tanks and self-propelled guns. So, yeah, the KV-1, uh, definitely a uh, familiar face if you know much about uh, World War II history and the vehicles and stuff like that. It was uh, definitely a beast of a tank in the early stages of the war, but as the war progressed, more uh, effective guns that were produced and uh, therefore were able to make short work of the KV-1. Now the version we have in front of us is the KV-1 model 1939, which is the first production uh, version of the KV tank. One of the main notable dif differences is the gun it used, which was the L11 76mm uh, gun um, compared to later on where it got upgraded. Actually, I believe it was a 75mm if I uh, stand corrected on that. Uh, but later on, it was outfitted with the ZIS 5, which was a 76.2mm gun, and uh, later on, there were other versions as well that were equipped with the 85mm and so on. So the uh, KV tank definitely saw. Um, some later upgrades, which made it more effective in the uh, kind of middle and later stages of the war. However, this tank was a absolute beast in the beginning. So yeah, we have a redesign for the KV-1. It's been a while. I seem to revisit the KV series of tanks here and there because I feel like I'm always changing stuff and trying to, you know, improve uh, this tank design. Something I can never really get fully satisfied with. Uh, but I do think this design here is pretty uh, good for it, and along with it, I will be releasing the KV-2 uh, model 1940 version along with this, hopefully sometime in the near future. Uh, but yeah, so part of me going back and redesigning pretty much all my Soviet vehicles and all that stuff for World War II, the KV-1 series saw a bunch of upgrades. So take a look at it, we have obviously the front of the uh, vehicle here, so we have the mounted machine gun in the whole the driver's viewport, a little spotlight and stuff like that, and that's pretty much the front. We have the gun right here, as you can see it's a shorter barrel gun, which is a tell, uh, or a nice good giveaway that this is the early version of the KV-1. Uh, most of the later versions um, after this one had a gun that extended a little bit forward of the actual hull itself. Uh, go ahead and go to the top here, we have all the top details, all the little uh, optics and view uh, slits and stuff like that for the crew to have good visibility around the tank. And on the back here we do have the mounted machine gun on the rear of the turret as well. Uh, going ahead and taking a look at all the, you know, uh, designs here. We have the exhaust, the vents and all that stuff over the engine bay and all that fun stuff. Also some storage containers or storage um, compartments here mounted on the side of the tank for the crew to store uh, various items and all that stuff and the back of the tank pretty straightforward and all that. Overall I think it's a really nice looking tank and again is going to make any good addition to basically any World War II Soviet type uh, you know battle lines or anything like that or scenes that you guys may be making. Um, I definitely think this is an awesome design and it's going to fit really good in those situations. Anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer we go ahead and start with layer 1. 
For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down two narrow brick slabs like this across, followed by two narrow brick top slabs coming off these slabs going forward. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down two dark open stairs across like this, and two stairs come off the back of them, like so. We then want to place down a green terracotta block, followed by a shulker box sideways coming off the green terracotta block, so you get it to look like this. We're going to place down narrow two dark oak wood stairs, narrow two behind them, green terracotta block, shulker box on the side, and again, two dark oak wood stairs, two dark oak wood stairs, a green terracotta block, and a green shulker box on the side. So you should have a total of six road wheels like this running along the side here. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick slabs, followed by two narrow brick top slabs, just like that, coming off them. When that's all complete, on the side of the green shulker boxes, we're going to place down dark oak wood buttons, and we're also going to place down item frames on the green shulker boxes with green terracotta blocks in the item frames, like so. And then right there, we'll complete our road wheels here for the right side of the tank. With that done, going over to the center space, we're going to go ahead and go off of this narrow brick slab here at the front of the tank. So this side here is going to be our front. We're going to place down three dark oak wood top slabs across, and we want to go ahead and then grab our... Zombie heads, we're going to place down one and two zombie heads here on both sides. From this, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood top slabs, and we're going to go ahead and go to the back here. We want to go ahead and go to the space in between these narrow brick slabs, or from this narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a row three of dark oak wood top slabs over. And we can go, go ahead and then fill in the space here in the middle with dark oak wood top slabs going all the way to the front here. That will basically create the base here of the tank. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a Another set of tracks that's going to be over here on the right, or will be the left side of the tank. I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit quicker since I explained the other side in great detail, and the other side is exactly the same, so if you uh, do get stuck at all, uh, for whatever reason, uh, then just refer to the other side as it's exactly the same, and all that. And of course our dark oak wood buttons here on the shulker boxes, item frames, and green terracotta blocks in the item frames. And with that, that is going to complete what we have here for layer number one. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. From this, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair, come off this uh, corner stair here, just like this to both sides, and then a dark oak wood slab there in the middle. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair going back from this corner stair, dark oak wood stair like this, so this turns into a corner stair, and then the corner stair right here in this space. So you get something that looks like that there for the front of the tank. After that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta block, we're going to place it down coming off of the backs of these dark oak wood corner stairs, and then a green shulker box like this out to the side. On the side of the shulker box, we're going to place down a dark oak wood button, item frame, green terracotta block in the item frame, and same thing over here, dark oak wood button, item frame, and green terracotta block in the item frame. Now from this here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block going back from this one, followed by a grindstone on top of this dark oak wood stair, and then a grindstone on top of this green terracotta block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block, and then we're going to place down another two grindstones. So one, two, and then a green terracotta block, and then we want to place down another two grindstones. One, two, like this, coming back. Followed by another green terracotta block, a shulker box to the side here, and then a dark wood button coming off the shulker box. We're going to go ahead and go over to the other side, and we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. So green terracotta block, two grindstones, green terracotta block, two grindstones, green terracotta block and two grindstones followed by a green terracotta block and then a dark oak wood or not dark oak wood a green sugar box come off the side here of a dark oak wood button on the side there so it should look something like this here for the tank we can then go ahead and take our green terracotta blocks and from the inside here of the tank we can go and fill this in completely if you do want to do some kind of interior you can go ahead and um, add it in la later leaving this um, inside a little hollow if you do plan on doing an interior for the tank you will probably want to replace these uh, grindstones with full blocks of green terracotta just to give you a little bit more interior space to work with <clears throat> instead of having these uh, gaps that you can see inside uh, of the tank. Anyways to go ahead and continue on we're going to place down a uh, the set here of tracks in the uh, guide wheels so for this we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab followed by a dark oak wood top slab we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick top slabs dark oak wood top slab two narrow brick top slabs a dark oak wood top slab and then a narrow brick top slab like that. And we're going to go do the same thing over here to this side as well. So narrow brick top slab, dark oak wood top slab, one two, narrow brick, dark oak wood, one two, narrow brick, dark oak wood, and one narrow brick like that. Now with that complete, we're going to go to each one of these dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down an item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. And then once we have that complete on both sides, 
we will be going ahead and grabbing ourselves a dark liquid sign, and we're going to place down a dark liquid sign on the side here of the slab, like so. And same thing over here, just like that. And once that's all done, uh, we're going to go to the back here, we're going to place down two Arabic stairs here, two both sides, a row three of green terracotta across in between the stairs, and a tripwire hook coming off those two green terracotta blocks on both sides, just like that. After that's all complete though, that is going to basically do it there for uh, layer, uh, or layer number two. And with that, we'll move into our next layer, layer number three. All right guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and take our dark liquid stair, or yeah, dark liquid stair, we're place down dark liquid up sound stair like this um, in the front space here. Coming off of it, we're gonna place down an item frame with a black bed that we're gonna rotate on its side like so. And then uh, over the, the item frame and black bed, we're going to go and place down a dark liquid sign, just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a green sugar box on the side here to will be the left side of the tank. And we're going to go and then place down a end rod coming off of it. Um, then we want to go and go from this green or this uh, green sugar box, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair to the side. And then over here to the other side, two dark liquid stairs over. Coming off this stair, we're going to place down an item frame, followed by a snowball in the item frame. And on top of these two narrow brick stairs here in the front for the fenders, we're going to place down two green carpets. We then want to go and take our dark liquid trap doors on the right side here. We're going to place down one, two, and three dark liquid trap doors. Over here on what will be the left side, we have a little bit of a different design. We're going to place down eight dark liquid fence posts on top of this green terracotta block. And if you do want to add a little bit of extra detail to the tank, we have like a little tarp um, or a little tent that's kind of rolled up here on the fender. Um, and we can just place down two smooth sandstone slabs. If you don't want to include that, you can just go and place down two dark liquid trap doors and its plates, but we'll add it because it adds a nice little detail to the side of the tank and adds a little more extra gear and stuff like that. Um, once that's done, we're going to then grab ourselves a spruce wood trap door. Going from the green uh, sugar box here, we're going to go and place down a spruce wood trap door, and then we want to go and then place down a green uh, terracotta block to the left side, and then three over here to the right side. We're going to go and then go to the dark liquid uh, top slab here. We're going to place down a lever and we're going to make sure the lever is facing toward the green terracotta block. Like that on both sides. We're going to take, we're then going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down two rows of five of green terracotta going all the way across here. And again, you have the option here of adding a little extra detail, which over here on the right side of the tank, I went ahead and put a little green bed right here. Uh, but if you don't want to do the bed, you can just go and place down two dark liquid trap doors on both sides. After that, we're going to place down another row of five, a green terracotta across, and we're going to go then place down a lever here on both sides and make sure it's flicked in facing toward the green terracotta block. After we get to this point, uh, we're going to then take our spruce wood planks, we're going to place down one and two, spruce wood planks, one and two, and then a lever that's going to be on top of this dark wood uh, top slab here, flicked inwards like so. And uh, over here on the right side, or sorry, the left side of the tank, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three dark liquid trap doors that go back like so and we also want to go and grab ourselves some trip bar hooks and come off the two spruce wood planks here and place down two trip bar hooks now over here on the right side i'm going to go ahead and place down two spruce wood planks after the lever and then a dark liquid wood trap door on the back here we can take our trip bar hooks and place them down the sides of those two spruce wood planks um both sets there so we have like the little extra cargo boxes on the sides of the tank with that done uh we're going to go ahead and then focus our attention here to the um middle space. So for this we're going to take green terracotta blocks, we're going to go ahead and go over to the left side, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five uh, green terracotta blocks back, and same thing over here on the right side, one, two, three, four, five. Now for the middle space here, we're going to go, and go ahead and place down one, two, and three, polished andesite, one, two, and three, a green terracotta block here between the first uh, polished andesite blocks, followed by a green shulker box, and then a green terracotta block. After that, we want to go and then take our green terracotta and place down one, two, and three across here. And then we want to place down a green terracotta block in the middle space here, followed by a green sugar box to both sides. And then coming off those blocks here, we're going to place down a row of five of dark liquid stairs across. Uh, coming off this stair here to the side, we're going to place down an item frame. In the item frame, we're going to place down a red stained glass block. And we're also going to place down a dark liquid sign on the front of the stair like so. Once uh, that's all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, three for the build. As you can see, this is what it looks like from up above. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four.
All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark liquid upside down stair over this uh, green terracotta block here, followed by a dark liquid upside down corner stair coming off both sides of that stair. We then want to place down a dark liquid top slab coming off that middle stair, and we're going to go and basically leave it as is for right now. Now, also on the front here, we have a little bit of detail we're going to add, which is going to be a zombie head on top of this dark liquid stair here for the driver's kind of optics or another viewport here. And then we also want to place down a iron bar on top of this dark liquid fence post and also a dark liquid button on top of this green terracotta block. And that's going to be on the right side and right side only. From this, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across, and then on both ends of that row of three, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. We then want to place down a row of five of green terracotta blocks across, followed by a dark liquid button on both sides. We're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides again. We then want to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle, followed by a dark liquid upside down stair to both sides, and then we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid top sides across, just like that. We then want to place down a dark liquid slab on top of this green terracotta block right here, and on the polished um, andesite blocks we're going to place down two item frames, like this, followed by iron bars in the item frames, just like this for the venting here on the top of the tank. From this, we're going to also grab ourselves some dark liquid buttons. We're going to place down one, two, and three on the side here, and one, two, and three. With uh, that done, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater on this block right here, and then we want to go ahead and then place down a wither skeleton skull at an angle like this to both sides, so a very slight angle for the exhaust. And we're going to go ahead and then place down one and two dark liquid buttons back, and same thing over here, one and two dark liquid buttons. In the space in between them, we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid buttons across like this. Item frames on top of the two green ter or the green silver boxes and a green terracotta block in the item frame like so. And lastly, uh, for our uh, cargo boxes here on the sides, we're just going to go ahead and place down stone pressure plates on top of the spruce wood planks like so. And with that all done, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer number uh four for the build and with that let's go and move into our next layer uh layer number five all right guys so we're actually gonna go and move into our final layers layers five through seven so this right here these uh, two layers will complete the build to get started with here we're gonna place down a dark liquid stair on top of this one uh like so fall by a corner stair to both sides of the stair and then come off the middle stair we're gonna place down one two and three dark liquid slabs going forward we then want to go ahead and go to the left side here of the uh mantlet here and we're gonna place down a item frame and in the item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood, or not dark oak wood, but a uh, black bed. In the item frame, we want to rotate it so that the pillow is facing downwards. And then a dark oak wood sign um, over the corner stair like so. Over here to the opposite side, the right side here, we're going to place down an end rod coming off this corner stair. When that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a uh, block on both sides here coming off the corner stairs, and then a green shulker box in the middle. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides, and we're going to go ahead and repeat that one more time. So row of three across and a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We then want to place down another row of three of green terracotta across, this time followed by a dark oak wood trap door on its side, like that. We're then going to place down a green sugar box here in the middle, a end rod coming off of it, and then a dark oak wood stair to both sides of that green sugar box. And with uh, that out of the way, uh, we're going to go and do the top details here for the turret. So for this, we're going to go and place down a flower pot on top of these two dark oak wood stairs. And we're also going to place down flower pots on top of these two mossy cobblestone walls to both sides. And these are all little viewports that pop up that the crew can use to, I guess, see around the uh, tank. Uh, once that's done, uh, we also want to go ahead and swap out this green terracotta block for a mossy cobblestone wall there in the center. But on both sides of this, we're going to go and place down a zombie head here to both sides. We also want to place down an iron frame on top of this green sugar box with a green terracotta block in it. Uh, the last two things on top of the turret here, we're going to place down a dark liquid button in this space right here, followed by a spruce wood trap door directly back from it. And after that, uh, we're going to then grab our iron bars and we're going to place down one, two, and three iron bars that go from the iron bar from the previous layer. 
And once you have that all done, that is going to complete my design for the KV-1 Model 1939 Heavy Tank. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using it on your rolls, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be a link from a silent build between my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun fit, and all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.